Hi, everybody. Welcome to Facebook Live inside the newsroom. Randy and Wex with you soon. Laney will join us here any moment now. Get ready for the 11 o'clock edition of Sports Sunday. Got a lot to get into. Rocket season is over, but we're going to start with the Astro. What a story brewing downtown today. The rookie, the local product. What a day in front of, on Mother's Day, in front of his mom and grandmother, Corbin Mark. He earned the right to get here. He'd been very good at Round Rock. He's made a pretty good rise, a 2017 second round pick out of Texas A&M and Cy Ranch, and uh, now one of their top prospects. Everyone keeps talking about Forrest Whitley and others, and he's been good, and he was unbelievable today. Totally handled the moment in control of everything. Mm -hmm. Struck out the first guy he saw. Struck out the last guy he saw. They got a lot of good stuff on him coming up tonight, and it does bode well for the future because the Astros made a change that actually might stick, sending Colin McHugh to the bullpen, yeah. who was again ineffective in, at times today. And maybe this is a real opportunity, not just one time, uh, for Martin to, to make an imprint in the bigs. It certainly made a splash against the Rangers. Uh, he looked great. Obviously, with a rookie, you want to see a little sample size and see if he can top that. And uh, because teams really get a get a, a feel of pitchers with scouting reports, and we'll see how he does. And, a great start today, no doubt about it. He'll get us, uh, some nice, more chances coming up. He's got a nice arsenal of pitches, though. He was striking out guys with all of his. He threw a knuckle curveball. He today. did. He's, he's, last time? We don't see that very often anymore. Especially from a young guy like that. But uh, he had a 97 mile an hour heater working. He struck out Hunter Pence with some off speed stuff. And Pence had been so good this weekend. And as for the Astros, this was one more night where this homestand has turned them, uh, really, the Mexico series last weekend kind of turned things in the right direction. They got the Angels, the Royals, and the Rangers, three teams that are not going to compete. Right. And the Astros showed them why. They now have a huge lead already in the division. All right, so we'll have plenty of Astros coverage. Laney will profile Martin uh, here from uh, the mom. The, uh, I don't know if the grandmother's, grandmother's in the story in as well. It. Corbin as of course well. The grandmother's uh, in I figured she would, but she's kind too. of emotional today. She's very much so. Uh, so Laney will have that story on, on Corbin's debut there at Minute Maid Park today. Here's Laney coming up right now. We were just talking about the Astros and uh, yes. the, the debut of Corbin Martin. And you can tell everybody what's going to be in your story. Uh, basically, so much excitement from his family. We talked to, he had a whole section there, um, kind of behind home plate, and we talked to his mom, his grandma, his sister, all amazing people, and they're, cool. all, they're all really excited about that. And then further on Mother's Day, we talked to Alex Bregman's mom. She they were all a, on hand today, it seemed They like were, it. yeah, they were all there for it. The Ashes weren't pink. They were hitting a lot of home runs for their moms, I guess. Very good. So we'll have that story. We'll dive into, of course, to the Rockets. Season's over, how it went down, everybody's really not happy about where everybody kind of, the stars failed to deliver in that fourth quarter when they got outscored, so they've got some questions to answer. Tillman Fertitta weighs in. He was uh, not happy after the loss either. Nothing to be happy about. Same yeah. team knocks him out for the fourth time in five years. A Durantless Warriors team on your floor yep. in a series that had been close throughout. Nothing to be happy about if you're the Rockets. And big questions about how do they do something different so we don't see the same result again. Yeah, it was... Usually, you guys know I'm not like the biggest critic, I, but I, this one I was like, okay, it was gift wrapped to you. Kevin Durant was out. Had your chances. Yeah. You had Steph Curry didn't even score in the first half. You're at home and it is a must win. You can't pull it off. Then they didn't deserve it. Period. I mean, Steph Curry is awesome. He's Steph Curry, but you give up, you allow him to score what 33 points in the second half, inexcusable. You've got to clamp down somehow on that. You know, James Harden has to find a way to take over when the game's on the line. That didn't happen at least twice in the series. Your superstars have to do it. Leading scorer in the game, 35 points for Harden. Yeah. Not enough, apparently. Not, not, not enough. Well, he got it, but fourth quarter, basically nothing. And, and that's inexcusable. And I think that's one reason why the uh, Rockets personnel not happy with that. They want him to step up. Chris Paul, he's, he's getting old now. He's, what, 34 years old? And uh, there's questions. They owe him a lot of money, too. So the contract situation is not good right now. Contract situation's miserable, yeah. but he did show up for one game in the series. It was good. Absolutely. Nice game Just, just one game. Yeah, That just really helped. Game. Hey, what else we got? We got uh, uh, Deshaun Watson had a camp today. So we're going to check in with Deshaun. J.J. Uh, Watt had a commencement address yesterday. He was pretty funny on that. Huge joke teller, that J.J. <laughs> talking about <laughs> Only beers. Only on a piece of paper, too. Yeah, he's yeah. talking about beers. He's talking about cheese curd. Talking about his college life <laughs> and delivering very important message to our future. All right. We'll I'll have a little bit of that. And also, uh, we'll hear from and, and watch the kid from Straight Jesuit, the sprinter, who won big in. A lot of Houston area kids won gold medals. But he set another record last night in the 100. But the team had a relay victory at stake, correct? He was involved in all three of the gold medals in for straight. He, yep. he was unbelievable. Matthew Bowling, who 
kind of popped onto the national stage a couple of weeks ago. We obviously been following him for a bit longer than that. And he even noted yeah. that last year when he was a medalist, he was wondering well, where, how come people didn't realize I was fast then, even faster now. And yeah, three golds in that 400 relay team. You're going to want to see that tonight. All right, we'll hear from him as well. So big show coming up in about 15 or 14 minutes from now, 11 o'clock. All three of us in studio, Sports Sunday, right after Channel 2 News. We will see you shortly. Sports Sunday, top of the hour. Take care.